three years exactly from our engagement in the ICU, we got married. Three years ago, we wouldn't have thought of this becoming into a reality. I was rushed to the emergency room. My mom brought me to the emergency room because I had a fever, but we were just thinking it was just another lupus flare up. I started developing blisters and that's when um, the doctors diagnosed me with Stephen Johnson syndrome or toxic epidermal necroli necrolysis. That is an allergic reaction to a medication. They put me in the burn ICU because my injuries were so severe and that's when they had to put me in a medically induced coma. I actually met him on the dance floor. I was visiting San Francisco and uh, I asked him, I, I did the first move, I asked him to dance with me, which he, he said yes. <laughs> and at the end of the night, he asked for my number, but I, I told him, I'm actually just visiting, so I probably won't see you again. But then he asked me, um, where are you from? And I said, I'm based in Illinois. And he said, no way, I'm actually from there said no way and then he showed me his his ticket that he was gonna come to Chicago two weeks after after that meeting so that's when I said okay I'll give you my number <laughs> the doctors were upfront with my family that I might not make it I had a lot of close calls he was there with me, with my family. He was by my side. When I woke up from my coma, actually, they handed me a mirror because I didn't know what was going on. And so when I looked at myself, it, it didn't look like me. When he asked me to marry him, knowing that at that time, I did not look like myself at all. He chose to stay with me. He chose to spend the rest of his life with me. And I was more honored more than anything else. My journey just started there, actually. I stayed in the hospital for a total of 240 days. I had three different surgeries. I had hair loss. I had to learn how to walk, talk, and eat again. I have the best support system, and I owe them my recovery. There were multiple times where I would say, I just, I, I want to die. But because of them, I kept fighting. It's really hard to look at the future when you're at the lowest point in your life. We chose the date for a reason because we wanted to look back on that day with pure happiness. I'm hoping that when someone hears this story, that it might be that story that they needed to hear to keep going as well.